Hello friends and welcome to virtual math class and today we're going to practice subtracting and using strategies to help solve word problems. The students will know the meaning of subtraction. The students will understand how to use pictures to solve subtraction word problems. The students will be able to solve subtraction word problems using strategies and pictures. Vocabulary. Subtract or subtraction means to take away. If you notice, there were four lollipops, one, two, three, four, and one was taken away, okay? So they show taken away by putting an X on it. Minus sign, a symbol that means to subtract. All right, so let's practice subtraction word problems using pictures. Let's start with some ladybugs. There are four ladybugs. One flies away. How many ladybugs are left? So the first thing we need to do is count how many ladybugs were there first. So let's do that. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then if you notice, if you look at your picture, one ladybug was taken away. So what number ladybug was taken away? Was there an X on number one? What about number two? Nope. Number three? Nope. Number four? Yes. So we can go ahead and take away one or take away the number four. Okay. Now, they took away one ladybug. So we're going to take away one number, which is four. Now we're going to count and see how many ladybugs are left. Let's do that. One, two, three. So how many ladybugs are left? Yes, three. And if you look at your numbers and you count one, two, three, it lets you know, okay, there are three ladybugs left. Now let's look at our answer choices, okay? So we have A has two ladybugs and B has one, two, three ladybugs. So if there are four ladybugs and one flies away, how many ladybugs are left? Were there two ladybugs left or three ladybugs left? There are three ladybugs left, so the correct answer is B, okay? Good job. Okay, now let's practice with some turtles in the pond. There are four turtles in the pond. Two turtles swim away. How many turtles are left? Okay, so first, remember, we have to count how many were there first. So let's do that. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Now, how many turtles swam away? Two. Now let's look at which numbers got taken away. Did one get taken away? What about two? Nope. Three? Yes, so we can take away. What about four? Yes, we can take that away. Okay, now how many do we have left? Let's count. One, two. Good. So if there are four turtles in the pond and two swim away, which one shows the correct answer? Is there one turtle left or two turtles left? There are two turtles left, so the correct answer is B. Good job. So now that I've shown you how to solve subtraction word problems using pictures, let's go ahead and review what we've learned. So the students will know the meaning of subtraction, which means to take away. The students will understand the steps of subtracting problems, meaning you count how many were there first, and then you see how many were taken away and how many are left. The students will be able to solve subtraction word problems using strategies and pictures, meaning that you need to count and label and also take away those numbers that are taken away. So now you're going to go ahead and practice the assignment. Good luck. Do your best.